Hey everyone, welcome back to Bike Geek. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure the Unify Dream Machine Pro for the first time. First, download the Unify Network app from the App Store or Google Play Store. If you already have an account, then log in, otherwise, you sign up and create your account. I have already logged into my account. Now click on plus icon button at top right side of screen to add new device. Then turn on Bluetooth option. After a few seconds, it will show you the device. Tap on device to configure. There are two options, ISP connection setting and setup console offline. Right now, we will select setup console offline. We will configure our ISP connection later in the video. Next step, name your dream machine rotor. Type your Unify account login password. After entering your password, tap on set up local access button. This process involves initializing the system and configuring basic settings. It might take a few minutes, so sit tight and let the setup complete. Once it's done, we'll move on to configuring the network. You see setup is complete. Now tap on finish button to move forward. At the bottom of your site manager screen, you will see your UDM machine. Tap on it to proceed further. Tap on proceed. When you see enter credential window, type your Unify login and password. After login, now connect our ISP internet cable to right side of single LAN port. This is default configured VAN port. And connect another cable with port 1 to get internet access on our laptop or computer. Now let's go to our laptop screen to configure our UDM for internet access. Next, on your laptop, open a web browser and type the default IP address of the UDM, which is typically 192.168.1.1, and this will take you to the Unify page. If prompted, log in with the default credentials. Then click on Network icon. This will take you to the UDM machine dashboard. Now we will configure our UDM. First go to setting, then click on network. Here you will see default configuration. If you connect your ISP cable with your UDM machine, it will run on its default configuration. If you want to create VLAN network, then you can configure it, click on new virtual network. Type network name, then at bottom gateway IP subnet, untick scale network. If you want to change IP address, then you can add your own. You can select the net mask according to your need. Also, you can do same thing using usable host bar. If increase, it will increase net mask. In advanced options, we will select manual because we want to create a VLAN network, so type VLAN ID. Then, in DHCP server option, we will leave default setting. If you want to create static network, then you turn off DHCP server. After these settings, click add button. Now we will configure our interface ports to access internet through the VLAN network we created. Go to port section. Now select the interface ports you want to run VLAN network on that port. In native VLAN network column, search and select your VLAN network. In tagged VLAN management option, you can choose between allow all, block or custom for traffic control. Allow all permits unrestricted communication, block restricts all access and custom lets you define specific rules for access and services. We will choose block options because we want to run only this VLAN. If you have more than one VLAN, then you choose allow all or custom option. After LAN interface port setting, apply the changes. It will save the configuration. Now let me connect my laptop with LAN port 8 so I can check the internet connectivity with VLAN network we created. 
So we are connected with interface LAN port 8 and our laptop received dynamic IP address of our VLAN network. Now let's check the internet connection. And that's it. Your Unify Dream Machine is now configured and ready to handle all your networking needs. From here, you can use the Unify Network app or the web-based controller to monitor and manage your network. You can view connected devices, adjust settings, and access analytics to optimize your network performance. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.